how much XRP do I need is the question that I usually get in the comments, which is a hilarious question because it's like, okay, well, you, how much XRP do you need for what? To, to buy some dog food? To become a millionaire? Like, these are quite different, these two things. Um, and so I want to make my attempt at answering that question in a way that I think is completely reasonable. Um, and so I always do try to be reasonable, but I do also entertain different pricing models for XRP. So I am, I'm going to sit here and say, you know, I do believe XRP can go to astro astronomical numbers. I do believe that. So, you know, when we're talking about $10,000 an XRP, $50,000 for an XRP, I believe that can happen. The thing, the stumbling block I have is the time duration it's going to take to get to that point. And as it stands right now, no one in history has ever predicted exact times for crypto. So I'm not going to sit here and say that these things are going to happen or they're not going to happen because I have no clue. One of the main things that I want to get into as like the preface to getting into the actual numbers, if you don't care about the, the preface and the context, which I think is incredibly valuable, you can just go down into the chapters below and just skip to the skip to that part. I would advise you don't. Now that all those people have skipped away, let's talk reasonably, shall we? Because they, they've all skipped to the end. So we can talk what say what we want now. The one thing I found about people who ask that question, they don't know really at a fundamental level what they what they need or want. And by that, I mean, you know, we all want a nice, rich lifestyle. OK, so, yeah, we have that level of want. We all want that. We want to go on a certain amount of holidays a year. We want a certain car. We want a certain standard of life. And we leave it at that. Combine with that with the idea that many people just focus on the large price targets for XRP. And what you get as a result is a load of people resting hopes on high price predictions that other people have made that don't correlate to their own desired lifestyle because they also haven't gone through the effort of figuring out their desired lifestyle cost. You know, someone might say, oh, I'd love to make uh, $10,000 a month, which will feature later on in the video. But their desired lifestyle, hypothetically speaking, could be done at, at 8,000. So why are we trying to get to 10,000 a month when you only need 8,000? Um, in order to get to that 10,000 a month, you might need an extra half a million dollars. It's like, if you could exit with to get your desired lifestyle, then just do that. It just makes complete sense, right? When you ask the question, how much XRP do I need? There's a few things that I don't understand. I don't know what your desired lifestyle cost is. I don't know what is a lot of money to you. I don't know how many, how, what the portfolio value you have right now. Like, I don't know how obscene it is for me, for you to want to kind of retire with XRP. You know, if you've got a thousand XRP, retiring on XRP is not really going to happen until you get to those astronomical numbers. So how long do we have to wait? Are you are you expecting for that to happen in the next three years? Or do you have a level head and a, a steady head on your shoulders and think, you know, oh, actually, that's I might have to wait for, you know, 10, 15 years for those kind of price prices to come in. Maybe no one's predicted time. I'm reminding you that of that could happen tomorrow. I have no idea when I get into the kind of price target ranges. I think it's really important to understand that if you haven't gone through the process of creating a detailed like uh, point by point costing of what it would cost for your desired lifestyle, I'm talking about if you truly desire a private jet, do you know how much it costs for in to insure that? Do you know how much it costs to pay the pilots? Do you know how much it costs to, to store the plane at a hangar? Do you know how much revenue you could create from that by renting it out? Like, you need to know all these details. You need to know all of the weird little costs that happen of ha having a Lamborghini. For example, if you have a Lamborghini and you don't store it in a garage at the right temperature, over time the paint might crack or something like that and you've got to repair it. Like, I want people to be that granular about it because if then they can say, uh, my desired lifestyle will cost $10,000 a month, for example, that gives the calculation a lot more legs to be able to happen. That's what I've done. I've looked at a series of reasonable short-term price targets and also more on the upper end of price targets that you can that you can look for. And I've also assumed a very specific monthly amount that someone might want to make in order to make that happen at a very reasonable yield that can be generated from a portfolio value being really high. 
I go into all of this in great detail in the workshop that I've just announced. It's coming out on, in fact, tomorrow. <laughs> it's coming out tomorrow where, you know, I talk about this in detail from every angle to basically help people to create an exit strategy that's actually based in something, has a foundation that's actually useful to you. If you want to attend the live, it'll be available on demand afterwards, but if you want to attend the live, ask your own questions in the live Q&A afterwards and be there, then you know, you gotta get onto that pretty quickly. Um, all the early bird spots fill, filled up um, and we've had so many people, just look at the feed of people that have have been participating because you know, you know the value. I mean, you're gonna save thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and over the course of your whole investment career, it could save you millions, right? Just knowing how to do all of this. And so that's what I've done. Just giving a little snippet here, basically. So all the calculations I'm about to go into in the office, not the office, just in my house. I've said the office to sound more official. I'm just gonna go through the numbers at the house. We're gonna base that, those numbers and the required amount of XRP on $10,000 a month, seeing as that's a pretty common number that people go for, it seems like. Um, and I think the majority of people could have a really nice life for forever at $10,000 a month. We're basing all of that on the idea of, it might be, this might not be your case, but you'll have to make the adjustments accordingly. But if you take all of your crypto portfolio out, once it reaches a certain value that we're going to talk about in a second, and you put all of that into the stock market and create a 7% yield, which is extremely conservative. It's the basically the standard. Anywhere between 7 and 10% you'll get if you just don't even think about it, put it in the stock market. That's what you'll get. Based on that very conservative target, at these different price points, how much XRP do you need in order to achieve the portfolio value that would generate at a 7% yield $10,000 a month? I know it might sound complex, but on in the workshop, there's a whole calculator that you can have, you'll get access to, you just fill in the numbers and it does it all for you. But that's the basis at which I'm doing these numbers. I'm talking about these numbers. So after all of that, now that you've sat through all of that context, let's get into the calculations and see, see what that means for you. So considering all of it, considering all these different price points that I'm about to list, I'm going to tell you exactly how much XRP you need to be able to create a, with a 7% yield um, to be able to create $10,000 a month forever. Okay, so the different price points are an $8 XRP as like the conservative target, a $13 XRP as the upper end of that conservative target. Then we've got $50, $100, $500 and a $1,000 XRP. Um, now, what is the same for all of this in order to create $10,000 a month just from a 7% yield you would need a portfolio value of $1,714,285 so look at your current portfolio right now you can see how many x's you need right now in order to reach that amount um, but now we're just going to be able to tie in an amount of xrp that you need for each one of these price points to hit that level Remember, it does account for the idea that you would take all of that money out, every penny, put it in the stock market in, in ETFs and get, uh, you know, a 7% yield forever. That That is assuming this. Um, so an $8 XRP, you would need 214,285 XRP. At $13, you would need $131,868. At $50 XRP, you would need 34,285 XRP. At $100 XRP, you would need 17,142 XRP. At a $500 XRP, you would need 3,428 XRP. And at $1,000 XRP, you would need 1,714 XRP. Is that good news or bad news for you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Um, there's not really any point in going any higher because the vast majority of people have more than 1,714 XRP. So any higher price point than 1,000 would, you know, you're good at that point. So the only things to consider here are, you know, if you're selling 50% of your portfolio, then you would need double the price prediction in order to reach that portfolio value. Uh, and this is also, you know, based on the prerequisites that I sent, said earlier. 
$10,000 a month, a 7% yield year, year on year means you need $1,714,285 in your total portfolio to generate that $10,000 $10, every single month. Now, if you're looking at all of these numbers and you're thinking, well, that doesn't exactly, it's not exactly tailored to me. It's not supposed to be, but I have created a system, a workshop that actually does tailor an exit strategy for you based on your risk tolerance, based on your desired lifestyle, your current lifestyle. It's so many different factors. I've put it all into a systematic approach. It's formulaic, it's a framework, it's a blueprint that you can go through and create a personalized, effective and optimal exit strategy. If you want to register for that, you can watch that right down in the description right there. That has absolutely flown off the shelves. I, I launched it very recently, a couple of days ago. Workshop. Take a look at it. Click the link in the description. Stay emotionless. I'll see you in the next one.